Have you ever wondered how we can get your Blender physics simulations into a game engine? I'm going to show you a way you can bake the physics into bone animations and use that to move the object. I'm using a banner here, which is just a plane with a few subdivisions. First, let's add the physics. Select the object, open the physics tabs, and enable the cloth simulation. Here, you can adjust the physics properties of how the cloth behaves. Or, you can click this icon and choose some of the default presets. If you press play now, you'll see the flag will fall down. You can also use other objects and add collisions to them to make them interact with each other. Let's add a simple cube to show this. Select the physics tab and enable collisions. If you press play now, you can see the flag will now hit the cube. Changing the cloth physics, you can see how they behave differently depending on the preset selected. You might have noticed, but the flag is falling down. Let's make the banner tie to the pole. To do that, open the vertex group tab Click the plus button to create a new vertex group, and name it Pins. This will hold the vertex of the mesh we don't want to be moving. Enter Edit Mode in the Vertex Selection mode, select the top vertices and, with the weight of 1, click Assign. You can quickly check if they are really assigned by clicking the Select button and it will select all the vertices inside the vertex group. Now go to the Physics tab and open the Shape section, and set the pin group to the Pins vertex group you just created. If you hit Play now, now the flag will be pinned to the top and won't fall down. Now let's add some movement. Press Shift A and create a new wind force field. Rotate its direction and set its strength to something higher. Let's remove this cube and see the results. Now it's looking more like a banner. Make sure you go back to the physics tab and click on Bake to save the simulation. If you want to make any changes later, make sure to clear the bake first. That's great and all, but we can't use this outside of Blender yet. Let's create some bones to control it now. Select the banner flag and press Shift S and choose Cursor to selected. This will make sure our objects have the same origin point. Now, create a new armature with a single bone. In the front view, select the bone and enter Edit mode. To help us see better, open the Object tab and under Viewport Display, enable the In Front option. Let's adjust our bone to the right position and subdivide it three times. Rename the bones Center 1, 2, 3, 4, starting from the top. This will help us later. Add a new bone and let's do the same on the right. And rename it Side1.L, because it's on the object's left side. You can press E to extrude the new bones and set them to the right positions. Rename the new bones as well to Side2 and Side3. Here, you can select all of the new bones, right-click and select Symmetrize. It will create a flipped copy of the bones. And because we used .l at the end, it will automatically rename them to .r. Now, let's go back to our mesh. We need to create a vertex group for each of the bones. These will be used to tell where the bones should move to. Select Center 1 and select the vertex closest to the Center 1 bone tail and hit Assign. You can also select several vertices and it will make the tail follow the average position of them. Repeat this for every single bone. You can also use the Weight Paint mode to assign it. Make sure the wireframe is showing so you can see the vertices. You can now select the groups and paint the area near each bone ends. Now, to make the bones move, Enter Pose Mode and select the Bone Constraint tab. Add a new IKE constraint. On Target, select the Banner Flag Mesh and the Vertex Group for that bone. And finally, set the Chain Length to 1. Repeat this for all the bones. Here, you can see our bones are following our mesh. But if we disable our physics, you can see they are not affecting our mesh yet. We need to bake our pose first. Enter pose mode again. Select all the bones and bake all constraints. Use the visual key and clear constraints. You can also use less keyframes if you want to. This will create an animation action for our armature. Select the Dope Sheets action editor and select the bones and let's rename it to a banner animation. 
if you delete the physics now, you can see that our bones are still working. But we need one last step to make them affect our mesh. Select the banner flag and then the bones. Hit Ctrl P to parent and select with automatic weights. Now we have the moving banner with its animation being moved by bones. And you can take this animation into our game or change it using keyframes. If you have bones that move positions like the falling flag, you need some extra steps. Create a new vertex group that will hold the bones that can move the head positions. And add a copy position constraint to each of them. As you can see, the bone will now follow the flag. You can change the vertex group later and adjust the position. When you are happy with the results, follow the same steps as before and bake the animations. And that's all! I've made an add-on to automate the tedious process of creating the vertex group and bone constraint for every single bone, which makes this process way faster. I'll be making a video on how to use it next, but I'm still making this video because I think it's important to know what's happening, in case you want to do something more complex with it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time!